Hi, this is Richard Harvey. I'm very pleased to share with you this, the fourth collaborative project between myself and Orchestral Tools. It's called Sangara, and it captures the sound of instruments from the countries of Southeast Asia, such as Thailand, Vietnam, and also Indonesia, and various others. It's the third library after Phoenix Orchestra and Andea to explore musical instruments from specific areas of the world. And as such, it gives you an entirely new palette of colors with some never before sampled instruments. Sangara is split up into three different sections. The first would be wind instruments, consisting of various different flutes, reed instruments, and more. Then we get into the percussion, this section includes a wide variety of different drums and smaller percussion, as well as various tuned percussion instruments. In the third section, stringed instruments, you'll find zither-like instruments as well as bowed and plucked strings. So, we're doing one walkthrough video for each section. In this first walkthrough, we'll start with the wind instruments. So let's take a look at the flutes. The first two instruments in this folder are the Tai Klui in C and the Tai Klui in A. These are two flutes from Thailand, beautifully captured by the team at Orchestral Tools. The flutes are usually made out of bamboo and are played by blowing into a notch at one end of the flute. The sound actually emanates from the lower side of the instrument, hence the very soft and rather ghostly sound. At this point, a quick word about the sound. All the instruments in Sangara were captured dry in a medium-sized studio space with five different mic positions. It's a close-up sound that carries a lot of detail, and it lets you apply your own processing so it all sits very well in your mix. Note that we've added a little bit of reverb here for these demonstrations. The next instrument, the Sumatran Saluang, is another bamboo flute originating from Indonesia. It's part of the Suling family of flutes, which we'll cover next. Before that, have a listen to the beautiful, soft and woody tone of this flute. With the Balinese suling in D, the Balinese bass suling in G, and the Javanese suling in D, you'll have access to three different suling flutes. These three are from Indonesia, and they're also made out of bamboo, like the Sumatran Saluang.
With the Thai Wot soprano and the Thai Wot alto, you get access to two separate, unique, circular pan flute-like instruments from Eastern Thailand, complete with their traditional shaker accompaniment. So now we're moving on to the reed instruments folder. Here you'll find eight different instruments from the P family from Thailand and neighboring countries. These are oboe-like instruments with quadruple reeds rather than double reeds. They are a little shorter than a Western oboe for the most part though. The P Chawa is a major part of Thai musical tradition, even though the name means Java oboe in fact. To the Thai people, the sound is synonymous with stately funerals and, curiously enough, Thai boxing. Muay Thai boxing has a soundtrack created by the interaction of non-stop pijawa, using circular breathing techniques, and klonkek drumming. You might also refer to this instrument as a shawm. The P Mon is a larger, deeper oboe or shawm native to the Mon people who are widespread and have a great cultural influence over all of Southeast Asia. This is an outdoor instrument with a penetrating, rather mournful sound used for stylized folk dancing. The Pinai is the most classical and refined of the Southeast Asian oboes. It's known as the indoor oboe as it has less of a flared tube inside and therefore a softer sound. It's made from elaborately turned mahogany and uses a quadruple reed made from a palm leaf. It's used in Thailand, Pratet Lao and Cambodia where it's known as the Sralai. The players employ circular breathing and go into elaborate flights of improvisation. Now let's look at the pijum. This is a single reed instrument, quite like the bawu of southern China. These are from Lana, the region north of Chiang Mai in Thailand, just over the hills from northern Pratet Lao and on to Yunnan in China, which is where many of the Lana people originally migrated from. With these lovely folk instruments, you get five different sizes and ranges, going from high to low, sopranino, soprano one and two, alto and tenor.
The Khan is a mouth organ related to the Chinese Sheng. The instrument is used by musicians from the Isan region of eastern Thailand and in Pratet, Lao. It can produce long-held notes by blowing into it, equally well by sucking breath in through the instrument. It can produce single notes as well as chords and can also be played very rhythmically and is quite loud. We were very lucky indeed to have one of Isan's most famous virtuosi to record these samples for us. We'll finish this walkthrough with a selection of conch shells, literally a seashell that produces a sound when you blow into it like a trumpet. It's traditionally used for communications, warnings and calls to the temple. It's a sound as old as the sea itself and a great ingredient for sound design or for adding organic touch points in a track. So, this wraps up the first walkthrough of the wind instruments in Sangara. If you have any questions about the instruments or the library in general, or if you want to share a track you made with Sangara, feel free to leave a comment. See you in the next walkthrough video, where we check out the percussion instruments.